Hello, our dear students, students for second preparatory stage for English language subject. اهلا بكم طلابنا الاعزاء الصف الثاني الاعدادي ماده اللغه الانجليزيه النهارده حلقتنا تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم اوكي اول حاجه عايزه افكركم بيها ان احنا المره اللي فاتت او الحلقه اللي فاتت ان احنا قدمنا سكيلز uh, جديده how to read passages how to answer their questions uh, how to differentiate او ازاي بنفرق between two important tenses the present continuous and the present simple and how also to make questions using these two tenses او ازاي بنعمل اسئله uh, على الزمنين دول اوكي okay? so Uh, that was just a warm up او دي كانت بدايه عشان افكركم قبل ما نبدا حلقتنا الجديده وبرده هنركز على نفس التنسز او we will focus on the same tenses and also we will learn new skills for reading, listening and speaking, writing also, okay? So get ready with your books, your pencils and let's start our session. Okay guys, now are you ready to start? Let's go. Be ready with your books, okay, and your pencils to answer together any difficult questions. So, now, okay, let's remind ourselves with the two tenses. Again, when you see some key words like at the moment, now, at the present time, for the time being, right now, all of these key words refer to which tense? Can you remember? Perfect. It's for present continuous tense. But if we have something like every, never, always, usually, often, sometimes, these keywords refer to which tense? Yes, present simple. So if we have a keyword that refers to present simple tense, we should add S to the verb if we are talking about a singular subject, or we leave it as an infinitive verb or um, if we are talking about a plural subject. So this is for the present simple tense. If we are talking about the present continuous tense and we want to answer something like this, like number one here, we add am or is or are to the verb in the present continuous tense. If we are talking about a singular subject, add is plus ing. If I am talking about I, I say I am plus ing form of the verb. And if we are talking about plural, Uh, subjects we are adding R plus ING verb so let's start now now number one Tamir dots learn a new skill at the moment so you have a keyword here can you guess what definitely circle now at the moment okay so this refers that I have to add am is or are Tamir is a singular subject that's why we will add is plus ING of course so Tamir is learning Okay, now, number two, Iman and her neighbors. So I want you to circle Iman and her neighbors. Am I talking here about a singular subject or plural? Yes, we are talking about plural subject or more than one. So if we have two, can we choose am or is or are? Because we have now, I want you to circle now. Now represents the present continuous tense. Definitely R plus ING of repair. Repair means to fix. يصلح شيء. Okay. So here we add R plus repairing. It's going to be R repairing. Now, for number three, Mr. Osman dots live in a lovely flat. Okay. So Mr. Osman lives or is living. Can you guess? We don't have a keyword here, so what shall we do? Okay, خليني أقول لكم حاجة. لو حاجة بنعبر عنها ب fact or habit or something which is fixed أو حاجة ثابتة في حياتي, we use the present simple tense. Okay, so here of course he is in this flat. He lives in this flat, not is living at the moment only. So I'm talking about a fact for Mr. Osman. So facts are related to present simple tense. Okay. So here I just add S would live to be lives. Okay. Now number four, Manel and Mona dots study calligraphy every day. So here Manel and Mona, they are two, right? Okay. So here I have every day. Circle every day. It's a new keyword. For what tense? Present simple or present continuous? 
Yes, excellent for present simple. So this means I have to add S to the verb or to leave it as an infinitive verb. Because I have a plural subject here, I just leave it as an infinitive form. Okay? So it's going to be Manel and Mona study. Okay? So now we use the present simple in the following um, examples or in the following situations. Number one, we use it for habits. Like this sentence, I always drink milk for breakfast. Something I do like every day. Also, we have like routines and repeated actions. That's why we use the present simple tense. We go to school every day. We use things that are always true for the present simple tense, like my aunt lives in Cairo. So we have some facts about ourselves or about maybe nature, like the sun rises from the east. It always happens, okay? That's why I use the present simple tense. So now let's focus on the present continuous for the following. Things that are happening now. I am sitting in my English class or unfinished actions in progress around now, like my sister is learning to dance. So she is doing this and she is not done yet. Temporary situations or actions, like they are painting the school this week. So, لو احنا بنتكلم عن حاجة لسه بنعملها في الوقت الحالي ولسه ما خلصتش that's why we use the present continuous tense أو بنستخدم زمن المضارع المستمر أوكي؟ لو بنتكلم عن حاجة ثابتة على طول بشكل ثابت أو facts أو حقائق عن نفسنا بنستخدم present simple tense أو زمن المضارع البسيط دلوقتي كان نظرة سريعة عن الفرق ما بينهم Now we have to Uh, remind ourselves more of the rules and how to make questions using both of the two tenses. بس هنعمل ده على الجلاس بورد. يلا بينا. Okay guys, now uh, let's differentiate أو خلونا نفرق between how to make a question using the present simple tense and the present continuous tense. We already talked about this issue last session أو اتكلمنا في الموضوع ده الحلقة اللي فاتت أو الحصة اللي فاتت and let me remind you again of it أو خلوني أفكركو تاني بي with more examples Okay So here if we have an example like this We go to the club every Friday Now, this is a sentence, okay? If we want to make a question on it, let's first focus on what is the tense which is used here? What is the tense? إيه الزمن اللي عندي في sentence? Is it present simple or present continuous? Let's focus. This is the verb, go. Okay? So, go. I didn't say is going or are going or am going. So, this means, yes, we are in the present simple tense. Which means, if I want to start... A question with what? What? Okay, so what shall I do here after what? Can you remember what we said in the last session? Yes, we have to add a helping verb. أو فعل مساعد. In the present simple tense, إلى فعل مساعدة بتاعتنا, do or does. So I add here, do or does, according to, yes, the subject. So if the subject refers to a plural one, we add do. What do? We is change it into you in the question. لازم نغير we ليو in the question because I'm addressing you. أنا بكلمكو انتو. Okay? What do you do, for example, every Friday? انتو بتعملو ايه every Friday? Of course, we will not put uh, going to the club or go to the club because this is the answer. Okay, so what do you do every Friday? انت بتعمل ايه او بتعملو ايه كل Friday? This is the present simple tense. Okay, now let me show you another example for the present continuous tense. Okay, here present continuous. Okay, again present continuous it means that I am dealing with am is R plus ING. So if I have something like he is playing 
football. He is playing football. So if I want to ask a question using what? Yes, we have to think of a helping verb. E is the helping verbs in the present continuous tenses. M is R. So I have is here. So I choose it as a helping verb after what? What is? Then I put the subject, he. What is he? I will not say playing. I will say, what is he doing? Okay? لأننا لسه المفروض بسأل هو بيعمل إيه. What is he doing? And question mark, don't forget it. Okay? So, that was simply the difference between questions in the present simple tense and questions in the present continuous tense. أهم حاجة نفتكر ال helping verbs that we put after the question word. In the present continuous, we put am, is, are, and then the subject, and then the ing verb. But in the present simple tense, we add do or does after the question word like what or when or who or whatever. We do, we put do or does, then the subject, then the infinitive for, uh, 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 form of the verb. Okay? So that was just a quick look at the difference between them in making questions. يلا بينا نكمل حلقتنا we reading passages عشان نقرا we نجاوب على أسئلتها. يلا بينا. Okay, after we are done with the difference between present simple and present continuous, now let's focus on a new part of speech. Let's focus on something we call adverbs. Adverbs, adverb in Arabic means الحال. Okay, so adverbs like the simple ones that are ended in ly, like quickly, like slowly, like loudly, elegantly. Okay, but not all the adverbs are ended in ly. We have some irregular adverbs, like good is an adjective. If I want the adverb form of it, I say well, and this is already written in a box in your books, okay? If I have, like for example, fast, fast is an adjective, but I don't say fastly. There is nothing in English, guys, called fastly. It's either fast or fast, adjective and adverb. How can I differentiate between fast as an adverb or as an adjective? Okay, if fast is describing a person like Ahmed was fast during the race, this is an adjective because I am describing Ahmed, the person. But if I say Ahmed ran fast, so here I'm describing the action, that's why it's adverb here. In all cases, guys, it is a fast, fast, not fastly, okay? So here, let's have some adverbs. They are adjectives and we need to change them into adverbs by adding ly or by knowing the irregular forms of them. Here, my sister speaks very, what I don't say very quiet, I say very quietly, okay? We just add ly. And Mr. Ahmed speaks English. How? Shall I say good? No, good is an adjective. But I need the adverb of good, which is well, W-E-L-L. -L. So it's here, well. Number three, guys, you run. Shall I say fastly? No, there is nothing in English called fastly. It's fast as it is, okay? But here, because I'm describing the action, which is run, so it's an adverb. It's considered as an adverb here. So, you run fast. And we have number four. The teacher treats all her children. How? Kind? No, I add ly to be kindly. I need the adverb. And number five. My friend sews bad. You know what's meant by sew? So, يخيط. Okay? So, my friend sews badly. Okay? Badly. So, here, it's badly. بشكل سيء. Okay. The cat is sitting in the sun. How? Lazy? No, lazy is an adjective. We should come up with the adverb form. But here we will not add only ly. We need to change something here. Let me tell you something. If you have any adjective which ends in, in y, we change the y into i to add the ly after it, to be like this. See? Lazily. Okay? So if we have something like easy, it ends in Y. So if I want it as an adverb, I change the Y into I, then I add LY. It's going to be 
easily e a s i l y like here lazy because it's ended in y i change it into i and then i add my l y like happy it's gonna be happily i change the y into i and then l y and so forth okay this is if you have any adjective which is ended in y okay now Things that I have just explained or the adverbs that I have just explained are called adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner, they refer to something I do and I ask about by the question word how, okay? How do you run fast? How do you talk loudly? How do you speak well? So these are the adverbs of manner, okay? Okay. Here we are done with the part of the grammar and now we have a part of reading and writing. So we have a picture here and we have some directions. Okay? Like in the background, يعني في الخلف, in the foreground, في الأمام, in the middle of, في المنتصف, on the left, على الشمال, and towards the right, يعني باتجاه اليمين. Okay. We have here a short passage or a short extract describing the people in the picture. I want you to pause the video now and try to answer, try to fill in the gaps using these phrases and then continue the video and let's check the answers together, okay? So have pause now. Okay, so again, let me check the answers with you. This is a photo of my family in Al Azhar Park in Cairo. My mother and my sisters are sitting under a tree. So where is the tree here of the photo? Yes, let's show it in the foreground. Yes, okay. And here dots. In the background, you can see the Umm Sultan, Umm Sultan Shaban Mosque. It's a name of Mosque. Mosque means gamma. Now, the tree is towards the right. يعني الشجرة عندنا باتجاه اليمين. Okay? Towards the right of the photo. And my eldest sister, Reem, is sitting in front of it. Our mother is behind her. We can see her face. My middle sister, Talia, is doing what the picture Okay, is in the middle of the picture. يعني هي اللي قاعدة في المنتصف. She is taking a selfie as usual. Our aunt is behind them. Can you see the aunt? Yes, at uh, uh, it's far away from them, behind them, down the hill and on the left. I think she's getting ready to take a photo too. So that was a short extract about the directions أو الاتجاهات. Okay. Now. Let's have a look at these two photos. What can you see at these two photos? This is the timing now for writing. We have to practice writing. We have to know how to write a paragraph or how to write sentences describing the picture we have in front of us. Okay, as you see here in picture one, this is a crowded street, أو like شارع زحمة موجود قدامنا, crowded with people, okay? And on the right, we have like a picture of a market. Do you know what's meant by market? Yes, a market means el soup. And we have a lot of sellers, we have a lot of buyers, we have a lot of vegetables. So here we have um, some clothes. Now we get to know where are those clothes or el malabis di shaklaha amel izay. Okay? Dresses, taban, ma fish hena dresses. Dresses, yani fasatin. Jeans, we have, we can see a lot of jeans here, yani el pantalon el jeans. We have shirts, el shirt. Uh, is completely different from t-shirt. El shirt, el amis, el t-shirt, el t-shirt, el cotton t-shirt. Uh, shorts and t-shirts. Okay, of course, not all of us we can see, but we just, uh, uh, we are just talking about clothes in general. And we have colors and patterns like dark or light blue. This is if you want to describe uh, somebody's t-shirt. We have green, we have purple, we have striped. When I say striped t-shirt, yani ma'allim, okay? Things like crowds, crowds yani zahim. A lot of people are gathering together in a street or inside a mall or so whatever. Food stalls, and we said it before, food stalls like booths, or ekshek akl, okay? Sections for buying and selling foods. 
We have lemons, we have oranges here, as we see in the picture. We have shopping bags. What's meant by shopping bags? الأكياس اللي بنشتري فيها الخضار أو الغذاء عموما يعني. And shops, محلات. Okay. Actions. What are those people doing? We have to talk about actions like people buying, people choosing, people selling. يعني بيشتروا, بيبيعوا, بيختاروا. Uh, uh, something, hanging, حاجة متعلقة قدامي. Okay. Now, let's take turns. Okay. After getting to know how to describe people and their actions and how to describe their appearance أو مظهرهم عامل إزاي, we can write a short paragraph. Paragraph أو فقرة consists of like five sentences. Okay, I made a sample for you and I made you an example of how to write a paragraph. But before showing you my example, I want you to uh, um, pause the video and try writing like five sentences in a paragraph. A paragraph, guys, means that we have to write the sentences after each other. When I finish the sentence, full stop, I start another sentence, and then full stop, and the third sentence, and so forth, okay? So, you have to know that a paragraph is like a bulk, or a قطعة على بعضها, مش separate sentences, مش sentences uh, متفرقة. Like, let me show you an example. Okay? For example, my name is Hogger. Okay, full stop. Then I am a teacher of English. Full stop and so forth. Okay, so this is a sample of a paragraph. So now I want you to try yourselves and try your paragraph. Okay. Let me read with you those four phrases. You can use in your writing, this is a photo of, you can start your paragraph with this uh, sentence, or it shows, it shows I mean actions, you can add action. It shows people who are selling, people who are buying, people who are choosing vegetables, people who are walking or maybe even fighting together. In the foreground, and I mean again by in the foreground, يعني في الأمام, okay, we can see, what we can see, a lot of things. On the left of the man in a striped shirt, this is if you want to give a direction using the description of a physical person. يعني لو عايزين نوصف اتجاه معين بوصف مظهر لشخص معين, okay? So I can use this phrase for example. Of course, what pictures are you going to describe? Yes, the pictures of the previous slide. Let me show you again those two pictures. So, let me brainstorm with you أو تعالوا نفكر مع بعض إيه ال sentences أو إيه actions اللي ممكن نتكلم عليها in our paragraph. Like here, we can see a lot of people walking. Like on the right, we can see a lot of people choosing vegetables and buying vegetables. Like also, we can see people talking together. We can also see people uh, um, uh, paying for the vegetables they chose. يعني بيدفعوا فلوس للحاجات اللي هيشتروها. Or like uh, the sellers. We can talk about the sellers. The sellers who are buying the food and the sellers, uh, uh, sorry, who are selling the food. Okay. So that was just uh, a quick reminder أو بفكركم بإيه الأكشنز اللي ممكن تستخدموها في الباراجراف. فدلوقتي عايزاكم تعملوا بوز أو stop and then try your writing. At least your paragraph should consist of five sentences. And then I will show you my sample. Okay, now this is the sample of mine. This is a photo of a market. It shows how street food sellers are selling the vegetables and food. On the right of the photo, there is a man in a striped shirt, okay, buying some tomatoes. We can see a lot of food stalls, in the background, the market is crowded with many people. So I want you just to try your hands with four or five uh, sentences maximum, just to try your hands on how to write a paragraph. This is very important to be perfect at writing. Okay. So, this is everything, guys, for the session of today. I guess uh, um, it's beneficial for you. أو تقريبا كانت مفيدة عشان اتكلمنا عن حاجات كتيرة 
reading, writing, speaking, listening. And uh, um, I'm so uh, happy to see you every time. And see you next session, inshallah. And I'll be waiting for you. Stay safe, please. And goodbye.